Can a single Tesla Powerwall 3 run your whole house? I'm Jason with Florida Solar Design Group, and I'm going to answer that question for you today. The Tesla Powerwall 3 is marketed as a whole home backup battery. What it is really is a complete energy system. It has a solar inverter, it has a hybrid inverter, and it has a battery. It's really an energy storage system. It's a complete system that you have to have a gateway with it as well to isolate yourself from the grid in an outage. But the Tesla Powerwall is essentially an energy storage system, not just a battery. Let's talk about the battery for a minute. It's 14.3 kilowatt hours. That is not very much capacity when you're talking about worst case scenario here in Southwest Florida, air conditioning in August or September, you're gonna be using a lot of electricity. The reason that they're calling it a whole home battery is because it has a huge surge output. It has 11.5 kilowatts of continuous power. That means you can be drawing 11.5 kilowatts continuously from the battery until it's completely drained. It also has a 185 amp locked rotor amps rating. That means that a big air conditioner, you can look on your on the label of your air conditioner, it's gonna say something like 110 locked rotor amps or 80 locked rotor amps. The point is, a single Tesla Powerwall can start up most central air conditioners, making it a whole house backup system. But how long can you actually run your house on a single Tesla Powerwall 3? Well, doing some quick math, if you think about it, an air conditioner, let's just take a standard central air conditioning unit and uh, we'll throw out a figure, it uses about 4,000 watts of power when it's running. So 4,000 watts over a three hour period of time, that's 12 kilowatt hours of a 14.3 kilowatt hour battery. That single appliance, your air conditioner alone, can only run for four hours without some kind of charging source like solar panels or something. So if you're trying to get overnight with a battery, a single power wall is only gonna give you a few hours of runtime with that uh, single power wall battery and an air conditioner. And then you're not even talking about all the other loads in your house, refrigeration, lighting, and everything else you wanna do. So no, a single pow power wall three is really not appropriate for a Florida home. Two power wall threes is really the minimum that we recommend for a whole house backup system. And really, you should be looking at three or four if you wanna just not change your lifestyle. The Tesla website has a backup guide. If you put in your electric bill, say $250, and you tell it that you're not gonna change your consumption patterns in an off-grid scenario, a single Tesla Powerwall 3 is only gonna run for about four hours, and that's pretty accurate. If you reduce your consumption, if you reduce it to say 72%, and that's their recommended number, you can extend your runtime if you have solar panels to eight hours, for example. And that's still not enough. You need a 24 hour window that you can cover with your battery system. You need enough solar power to run your house, charge the battery, and enough battery power to get you through the night and cloudy weather. So forget about a single power wall three if you want a whole house backup system. And if you want something where you don't have to change your lifestyle, you're talking about numerous Powerwall 3s. It's just the reality of the situation. So yes, the Powerwall 3 is a whole home battery backup system, but you can't run your house indefinitely on a single Powerwall 3 unless you drastically reduce your load. A single Powerwall 3 would be great for something like refrigeration, lighting, fans, charging small electronics, computers, cell phones, things like that. That would be good for a single Powerwall 3. Maybe a couple other loads, television, things like that. Tesla does offer a backup expansion pack for the Tesla Powerwall 3. You can double your capacity of battery without doubling your power output. So if a single Powerwall is enough power for you to run everything in your house, then you can just add battery capacity by adding up to four expansion units per Powerwall 3. That's a more economical way to go if you don't need the power output capacity of two Powerwall 3s. So those expansion packs come in 14.3 kilowatt Packages, they're, they look the same as a Powerwall 3 and they just kind of stack next to it. Um, there's a proprietary cable that connects them together, super easy to install and less costly than installing more Powerwall 3 units. You can install the Powerwall 3 with an existing solar energy system. So if you have, for example, an N phase microinverter system and you want to couple that with your Tesla Powerwall 3, you can put the Powerwall 3 in, AC couple in the solar panels, 
and it'll work together to charge the batteries, power your house in an off-grid situation. And that single Powerwall 3, again, can run your whole house in an off-grid situation, just not for as long as you might expect. You're gonna need those additional expansion packs or additional Powerwall 3s to get you the capacity you need to run for the time that you're looking for. Overall, the Powerwall 3 is a great innovation in the industry. It's definitely an option to consider. It's low cost, it's powerful. There are a couple downsides. The warranty is not quite as good as some of the competitors out there. And it is a single unit with the solar inverter, hybrid inverter, and battery all kind of in one package. And the way I look at it, if you think about the old TV and VCR combinations, if the VCR stops working, the whole unit kind of is useless at that point. And that's kind of the problem with the Powerwall 3 as well. If you have an inverter failure, that whole unit is a, is a failed unit at that point. So it's kind of nice to have the inverter separate from the batteries, but there's downsides to that as well. So again, test the Powerwall 3, great product. There are pros and cons, and you should discuss it with us if you're considering it. And maybe we can look at some alternatives, but um, if you're looking for a Tesla battery, we can help you. I'm Jason with Florida Solar Design Group, and we'd love to help you with your Tesla needs. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to get notified of future videos. And if you have any questions, put it in the comment section down below, and I'd be happy to answer them for you.